going on everybody it's monkey farm and we're back with another episode of arc survival evolved we are here on the pooping evolve server we're here at spino cove at our new base we moved here a couple episodes ago and i've been teasing i've been teasing you guys that i'm gonna start the pvp base soon and i've been gathering a bunch of materials and today is finally the day i'm excited we're gonna start actually building it and uh, I have a lot of materials gathered, so I think we're going to get a lot done today. So I'm super excited about it. So if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for all the comments and thumbs up on my previous videos. I appreciate it. And comments, of course. I know uh, a lot of you guys were, were kind of like trying to guess what I'm going to build here. And uh, I tried to give you one little hint that if you have been a watcher of all of my Minecraft videos, you might be able to figure it out. All right, so the unveiling, I'm going to tell you guys what I'm doing here. So uh, the reason I thought you guys might be able to figure it out, there's a raptor in our base, is because on Hermitcraft Season 2, I built a giant skull, and then Season 2 here... I built a giant skull also, which was up the river that direction. If you missed any of those videos, check out that whole playlist. Um, it was a super awesome base, and uh, we didn't get to do a lot there because we reset the map, but I did get it pretty much finished, and uh, it's super awesome, so definitely check those out. Um, then, uh, on Season 2 of Hermitcraft also, after the, the giant skull base, Everybody moved to a new town, and when I finally moved to that town, I built a giant tree house. And that's what we're going to do here. We're going to build a gigantic tree in the middle of the bay here, or the river, or the cove, or whatever. We're going to build a giant tree house, fort kind of thing, and it's going to be a PvP base. So it's going to have a lot of little places. Uh, like, we're gonna build a lot of tree houses in the tree, I guess you could say. So it's not gonna just be, why do I keep falling off this freaking rock? My gosh, what the heck? Sit, ooh boo. All right. Oh, there's some more raptors. Um, anyway, so I think this base is gonna be super awesome for PVP because we're gonna have like, it's gonna be really big first of all. Like, I don't know if you guys know what I'm used to building, but it's gonna be huge. It's gonna be gigantic, like probably 30 blocks tall uh, just for the trunk part. Um, the other thing it's gonna have, it's gonna have these branches that go way out to the side, right? And a bunch of people are gonna be able to be in the tree house like the little cabins on all the different branches and they're going to be able to start the pvp thing so we're going to be able to do kind of like hide and seek kind of thing like try to find the other player we could do like capture the flag where there's uh a hidden object where somebody has to get it and then the other people try to fend it off or you know get it first or whatever there's all sorts of opportunities that i'm thinking that we could do in this base so it's going to be super cool and there's a new thing that's actually supposed to be out like today um, and it's the grappling hook. So we're going to have grapplers and just think of having like branches and like, you're going to be trapped, right? Somebody's chasing you down a big tree branch and they're going to catch you and you have nowhere to escape except to maybe like jump off onto a lower branch or something like that. Uh, think of grappling hooking over to a different branch or something. I mean, there's just so much we can do with this thing, I think. So it's gonna be super cool. Do you wanna die? Why is my mouse not working? There. Alrighty, it would be nice if we had a Quetzal, uh, cause we could have more weight and we could stand up on the bird. Uh, but for now, we're gonna be able to do this with, uh, with an RG. Uh, so I've laid out a couple blocks down here and these are stone walls and what I've done, I had to make sure this is like a five by five square, but I'm gonna cut the corners off, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be a five by five rounded, circle-ish square thing. <laughs> um, and uh, the one thing I made sure I did was to put the walls on the inside, I guess, uh, or the, the outside of this ceiling 
that's below me. Um, in other words, if I had put, let me show you, if I had put it here, it would be on the ceiling that's right below me. If I, if see how it switches, if I put it back here, it is on the inside. And that's going to help me out later on because when I put ceilings on these, I want them all to match up and I want them to all connect as much as possible so this thing is really sturdy. If I had like, if I had all of these on the outside or, you know, and even, even if I rotated the block or the, you know, the wall, uh, it, it could cause problems later on. So uh, that is like super important. Uh, I learned a little bit of that when I was building the giant skull. I had a couple um, walls and things that didn't meet up correctly and I had to kind of, you know, mess around with things to make it work right. So I'm trying to do this thing um, super like sturdy and correct. And uh, you know, it's just, just building with arc the way you have to do it. Um, so like I said, I'm gonna put a stone kind of foundation at the bottom of this and I'm just going to pile these up. I think I'll just pile up the stone like five, five walls high and that should prevent anything. Really all this is going to prevent is a spino or a T-Rex or something that swims out here from like breaking down the whole thing. If they, if it breaks a couple, you know, wood walls. Uh, like an, if an alpha or a giga came out here, of course, you know, ultimately it would be destroyed anyway. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. Uh, all right. So that is five walls high. I think we'll put this thing, I think we'll make it about 25 total blocks. So if I add, if I add 20 wood walls to this, there's five right there. So we're at 10 blocks high now. Uh, so we're gonna go, we're gonna go 20 blocks higher than, or 15 blocks higher than that. So double that and add five more. So one and a half times, or you know, two and a half times this height. So um, that will be pretty awesome. And of course it's gonna go higher than that because the, uh, what do you call it? Like the tree branches and the leaves that are gonna go on top you know, we'll make it a lot higher. So this thing is gonna be super huge. It's gonna be pretty amazing actually. And let's take a look from back here. That's gonna be pretty huge and it's gonna be a lot taller. It'll probably be about 20 blocks taller, or not 20, maybe like 15 blocks taller than that when you count all the leaves, maybe to, up to 20, 15 to 20 blocks higher. So it's uh, it'll ultimately like the top of the leaves will probably be like up here. So this thing is, gonna be freaking gigantic actually it's uh it's gonna be huge but the cool thing is, is that we get to build with logs and thatch or you know wood wood walls and thatch so um it's like super easy to build a ton of you know craft a ton of these like without you know it's not like building out of metal or even stone Alright, we're back, and doesn't it just look like a big tree already? Can't you tell? It's totally a tree. It's like, it's done. There's nothing else to do to it. So what we need to do is kind of give this thing a little bit of shape, too. Uh, so the thing, I think the way to do that is, let's say, let's say we had like a ceiling. Why are you not... I don't want you halfway through the block. I want you out here. Let's see. Where did I have it? Like right there? Or right here. Let's put it right there. Um, let's put another one, maybe like two blocks down here. 
or maybe one block down here and then we'll do one over here two blocks down and then on this side let's see we'll start like I, I've already been trying to mess around with this on the other side I'll show you that in a second um, we'll start up here again there and then this one will start like right here maybe I don't know so what I'm gonna do now is build this down and out also uh, so it's not it's not gonna go straight down and I'm not gonna build all the walls that would be a little wasteful um, but then let's see we'll take hopefully I'm not really explaining what I'm doing here but trust me I I've got an idea how to do this uh, I just have to do it this way because of the way arc works the way building works in arc okay so now what I can do is I can put oh, I just had it too I can put a wall starting to come down here like this and I can put it on the sides as well. You follow me yet? All right. See what I mean? We're, we're building like the little tree trunk thing uh, and we're gonna have like roots come out over here and it's gonna get wider at the bottom of the tree because that's what trees do. Okay, we're back, and uh, I've gotten a lot of this done on the bottom side. Uh, might have put a little bit too much, even. Um, but I want these to eventually break out at the bottom and uh, look like roots. So, for example, like right here, I could... Um, I could have this come out further. Let's see. Whoops. I said whoops a lot when I wasn't recording. <laughs> uh, but that's just how this game goes. Um, so let's see. Let's do... Whoops, that one's backwards, but it doesn't matter. Because I was only placing that so I could put a roof here. And let's see, we'll do a roof there, and then let's see, which way is that pointed? This way. And then this way, I think. Yeah, okay. And then We'll put some more ceilings here. And this will start looking like roots coming out here. If I can get that one to place, I could get off the bird here, actually. That would be a lot easier, actually. Um, but then if my inventory was full. Oh, look what happened. Darn it. All right, that was a fail. I hate when that happens. Alright, so that one placed correctly. So anyway, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be putting roots out of the tree, and then I'll probably build them up a little bit. Like, this one looks a little bit too low. It should probably be a little bit higher. Like, uh, I may elevate this thing over here. One block up, if I can get it to snap like that. Oh, it snapped in the wrong place. What the heck? And then do it like this. You get the picture, uh, I hope. And the other thing I want to do is I want to start building branches out from here. So this is obviously kind of like part one of the tree building uh, video. And I'm going to have to uh, make a lot more. Oh, it looks like I'm actually out of walls right now. Um, so I'm going to have to craft a whole bunch more walls. Uh, I'm pretty much out. I do have a lot more ceilings left, but um, we'll need those for the branches, so 
All right, well, that is it for today. Since I am out of walls, I need to go craft some more. So uh, I'm gonna go start working on that. And next time we will start building the branches and hopefully get some of the leaves done as well. And this thing will really start looking like a giant tree. And then we can start uh, building some of the hideouts and the little uh, tree houses on the tree branches and you know all that other stuff um so i'm super excited about the project i hope you guys like it too if you do give it a big thumbs up on the video i'd appreciate it and we will see you all next time